Nvidia just wrote a $2 billion check to a company almost nobody has ever heard of. Not a chip maker, not an AI startup, a software company. And yet, the moment Nvidia announced the investment, the stock jumped 8% in a single day. Why? Because every AI chip on earth, Nvidia, Google, Amazon, Apple, Tesla, all of them depend on this company's software. This company is the invisible engine behind hundreds of billions of dollars in semiconductors. Today, I'm going to show you why Nvidia invested billions, why analysts see a 20% upside, and whether this might be one of the strongest AI infrastructure plays in the world. Welcome back to Ben Talk Money was let's break this down. Before we even talk about the stock, we need to understand the industry first because that's where the real money hides. This company operates in a field called Electronic Design Automation, or EDA, which might sound boring at first, but in reality, it's one of the most critical technologies powering the entire AI revolution. Think of designing a modern AI chip, like building a Lego castle, not with 300 pieces, but with 50 billion tiny components where even a single misplaced piece can break the entire design. That's how complex chip creation has become. EDA software acts like a super intelligent assistant that organizes billions of transistors with perfect precision, simulates every possible outcome, and ensures the chip can actually be manufactured at scale. Without EDA, companies like Nvidia, Apple, Google, Amazon, none of them could build the advanced AI chips the world depends on today. In short, EDA isn't optional. It's the quiet, invisible foundation holding the entire AI ecosystem together. Today, the EDA industry itself is a roughly $15 billion market, and it's growing at nearly 10% every single year, which is massive for a back-end technology most people have never heard of. The reason is simple. Every major trend in tech depends on custom chips. AI accelerators, GPUs, 5G infrastructure, electric vehicles, advanced robotics, autonomous driving systems, everything requires highly specialized silicon, and companies like Tesla, Google, Amazon, Meta, and Apple are all designing their own. But here's what makes this industry truly unique. Despite the explosive demand, only three companies control almost the entire global market. Synopsis, Cadence, and Siemens. It's a complete oligopoly with enormous moats, incredibly high switching costs, and virtually zero room for new entrants. Once a company builds its entire chip design workflow around one of these platforms, changing providers can cost billions and delay product launches for years. And that's exactly why this niche market, though small on the surface, is one of the most powerful and defensible parts of the entire AI supply chain. Synopsis, ticker SNPS, stands at the top of this entire industry, the undisputed leader in electronic design automation. The company runs three major business segments, each one reinforcing its dominance. Its core engine is EDA software, which generates nearly 70% of total revenue and essentially acts as the brain behind modern chip design. Without Synopsis, companies literally cannot build advanced semiconductors. Alongside this, Synopsys also offers a powerful IP licensing business, providing ready-made building blocks like USB controllers, memory interfaces, and even full processor cores, so companies can accelerate development and avoid reinventing the wheel. They also have a software security division, but they're already in the process of selling it, since it no longer fits their long-term strategy. What matters is that Synopsys has built an ecosystem so essential and so deeply embedded into chip design workflows that switching away is almost impossible. And that's exactly why the world's biggest tech companies rely on them year after year. Synopsys wins for one simple reason. It operates on an advantage curve that no competitor can realistically catch. Their entire business is powered by an AI flywheel that keeps getting stronger. They use their own software tools to design their own IP, which generates massive amounts of real-world chip data. That data is then fed back into their AI engines, making the tools smarter, faster, and more efficient than anything else available. This creates new IP, which creates more data, which further improves the tools in a loop that compounds every single year. 
no new company or even existing rival can recreate this because it requires decades of data, thousands of customer design cycles, and deep technical integration. On top of that, Synopsys has extremely tight partnerships with the world's biggest chip manufacturers, TSMC, Samsung, and Intel, and their software is certified for next generation nodes like 3 Ninim and 2 Ninim. These certifications take years and hundreds of millions of dollars to earn, locking competitors out and locking customers in. The result? A business with 92% recurring revenue, multi-year contracts, and gross margins that look more like a premium software subscription than a hardware-dependent company. It's predictable, durable, and nearly impossible to disrupt. The company's dominance became even more powerful after one of the biggest strategic moves in the semiconductor world, the $35 billion acquisition of ANSYS. ANSYS is the global leader in physics simulation, automotive modeling, and system-level engineering, and combining it with Synopsys expands their total market by nearly 50% overnight. But more importantly, it transforms Synopsys from a chip design software company into a full-stack engineering powerhouse. Now a customer can design a chip, simulate its performance, design the system around it, and simulate the entire product end-to-end, -end, all inside one ecosystem. It's the kind of vertical integration that makes switching costs astronomical and creates a moat that's almost impossible to breach. This deal effectively turns Synopsys into the central nervous system of the entire hardware development world, from silicon to systems, and positions them to dominate the next decade of AI, EVs, aerospace, and autonomous technology. And when you look at the financials, the picture becomes even clearer why Synopsys is able to make moves like the ANSYS acquisition. The company isn't growing because of hype. It's growing because its business model is a cash-generating machine. In just three years, revenue expanded from $4 billion to $6 billion, all while maintaining elite SaaS-style profitability. With 75% gross margins and 30% net margins, Synopsys operates at a level of efficiency that most semiconductor-related companies can only dream of. This kind of scalability, combined with high switching costs and multi-year contracts, creates a money-printing moat that becomes stronger every year. It's the financial foundation that makes Synopsys not just dominant today, but structurally unbeatable long-term. And this is exactly why NVIDIA made one of the most strategic investments in its history, a $2 billion purchase for just a 2.6% stake in Synopsys. NVIDIA isn't throwing money around. They're betting on the future of how chips will be designed. Synopsys is shifting its design tools from CPU-based workflows to GPU-accelerated workflows, which means tasks that once took weeks can now be completed in hours. For NVIDIA, faster chip design doesn't just save time. It accelerates every product cycle, saves billions in development costs, and makes NVIDIA the center of next-generation chip development. The faster the industry designs chips, the faster NVIDIA grows. This investment aligns both companies at the deepest technological level. But the partnership goes even deeper than speed. NVIDIA wants to create an ecosystem where every designer, every engineer, and every startup relies on NVIDIA's hardware, NVIDIA's cloud, and Synopsys's AI-driven design tools. Together, they're building autonomous chip design systems that can optimize layouts, reduce errors, explore thousands of configurations, and run simulations with almost no manual intervention, a true chip design autopilot. Add to that NVIDIA's Omniverse platform, which now allows Synopsys to build digital twins of data centers, cars, and entire chip systems before anything is physically manufactured. And for startups, this entire workflow moves to the cloud, meaning you no longer need millions in hardware to design world-class chips. Synopsys shifts from enterprise only to global scale, and NVIDIA becomes the engine powering all of it. And as all of these developments started becoming public, the market reacted immediately. Synopsys shares jumped almost 8% in a single day, a clear signal that investors finally understood the scale of what the NVIDIA partnership and the ANSYS acquisition really meant. 
Yet despite that surge, the stock is still trading 27, 28% below its all-time highs, which means the market still hasn't fully priced in the company's future earnings potential. Analysts across Wall Street are already recalculating their models. Citi sees the stock at $580, Wells Fargo at $550, Rosenblatt at 605, and the overall consensus sits around $555, pointing to roughly 20% upside from current levels. In other words, the smart money is moving early because they see what Synopsys is building long before the rest of the market catches up. But even with all this momentum behind the company, it's important to recognize that Synopsys isn't a risk-free investment. The biggest near-term challenge comes from China restrictions, which could impact revenue since China is a key customer for semiconductor design tools. Add in broader market volatility, the complexity of integrating a massive $35 billion ANSYS acquisition, and the reality that Synopsys typically trades at a high valuation, and you understand why long-term conviction is required. From a technical perspective, the stock is still sitting below its 150-day moving average, which means institutional buyers haven't fully stepped back in yet. None of these risks break the long-term thesis, but they do matter for anyone trying to time the market. And that brings us to the final takeaway. Synopsis stands at the center of one of the most important technological shifts of this decade. It is the undisputed leader in EDA the software that literally makes AI chips possible. NVIDIA's $2 billion investment validates Synopsys' role in the future of chip design, and its 92% recurring revenue, 75% gross margins, and rapidly expanding AI automation tools give it one of the strongest business models in the entire semiconductor ecosystem. Analysts see meaningful upside, but your own research should always guide your decisions. This isn't financial advice. What this is, however, is a reminder that if you're looking for a critical, behind-the-scenes AI infrastructure play, the kind of company powering the entire industry rather than competing in the spotlight, Synopsys is one of the strongest names you can study. And if this breakdown helped you see the full picture, make sure to like the video, share it, and join the Bentalk Money community for smarter, sharper investing insights.